Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Arsalan Farooq and I teach math and physics. In this video, we will discuss where exactly the formula of the Poisson probability distribution comes from. Before we jump into the derivation of the formula, we must recall if a random variable x follows a binomial distribution with n that is total number of trials and p is the probability of success of each trial then you can calculate the probability of x is equal to r as ncr q to the power n minus r and p to the power r where p is the probability of success the probability of failure which is q will be equal to 1 minus p if you want to find out the expectation of binomial probability distribution then the formula for that is e x is equal to n times p that is total number of trials times the probability of success now what is the major difference between a binomial probability distribution and a poisson probability distribution the biggest difference is about the total number of trials so in case of the poisson distribution the number of trials are very very large and that can be approximated as infinity so for very large number of trials we can say that random variable x also follows a poisson distribution where now we represent mean by lambda and hence the lambda would be equal to n times p and which we can rearrange to write p as lambda over n applying the same formula of probability x is equal to r which we apply on binomial probability distribution we can see that the probability would be ncr q to the power n minus r so if p is lambda over n then q would be 1 minus lambda over n whole to the power n minus r and p to the power r which is directly lambda over n so lambda over n to the power r so this is how we will calculate the probability using the binomial probability formula now let's try and simplify this formula into something that is easier to use so in place of ncr we can write down the formula of ncr which will be n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial the factor 1 minus lambda over n to the power n minus r can be split up into two factors one is 1 minus lambda over n to the power n and the other one is 1 minus lambda over n to the power minus r and this factor we will just copy down from the previous step now reshuffling the terms a bit so i can say if i take lambda to the power r from here and r factorial from here then the, the first term can be written down as lambda to the power r over r factorial if you're already familiar with the formula of uh, uh, poisson probability distribution so you will understand that this is basically part of that format that is why we will separate these two terms um, writing down the rest of the terms that is n factorial over n minus r factorial from here and this is 1 over n to the power r we can copy that down as well and then writing this factor here and this factor here now because n is very very large and it is approaching infinity so we can approximate lambda over n because 1 over infinity is 0 so we can approximate lambda over n to be approaching 0 and if we talk about this particular factor then we can say that if lambda over n is approaching 0 then 1 minus lambda over n would be approaching 1 and to the power minus r would also be approaching 1 so in place of this entire factor we can approximate it as 1 we can't do that for this because the power of this is also infinity so we will leave that like this for some time now opening n factorial we can write down n factorial as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 we have to go all the way to 1 but we know that somewhere in between there would be n minus r minus 1 there would be n minus r and then n minus r plus 1 and so on and so forth till you teach till you reach 1 and similarly for n minus r factorial we can write down as n minus r 
n minus r plus 1 and so on and so forth till you reach 1. The reason for opening this up like this is because we can see a lot of factors here in the numerator are cancelling out with a lot of factors here in the denominator which will leave us with n, n minus 1, n minus 2 till n minus r minus 1. So we'll copy that down over here n to the power r is also copied as it is and this term is also copied as it is which is 1 minus lambda over n to the power n. Continuing on with our simplification we will realize that if this is n minus 0, n minus 1 and all the way to n minus r minus 1 so there are r number of factors divided by n to the power r so that means we can divide each factor by n. So the lambda to the power r over r factorial is copied as it is and then n is divided by n and minus 1 is divided by n and minus 2 is divided by n so all the factors which exist over here all of them are individually getting divided by n and this particular term is again copied as it is. Moving on a lot of them are simplifying out so n over n can be simplified as 1 n minus 1 over n can be written down as 1 minus 1 over n if I write n below each term individually. Similarly, n minus 2 over n becomes 1 minus 2 over n and so on and so forth till it reaches all the way 1 minus r minus 1 upon n. So these are the simplified forms of these factors. Again, this term is copied as it is and this term is also copied as it is. Moving on, I would realize that each one of these factors are simplifying to 1 because 1 over infinity, you know that n is approaching infinity, so 1 over infinity would be 0, 2 over infinity would be 0, and likewise all the way till r minus 1 over infinity will be 0. So all of these factors will simplify as 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 and so on and so forth. So all of these can just go away because all of them are just multiplication with 1. So um, that means I'm left with this term and this term only. So I'll copy this down here and for this particular term, I'm going to now expand it by the binomial expansion. So I apply the formula for the binomial expansion, which is 1 plus x to the power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 x square over 2 factorial plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 x cube over 3 factorial and so on and so forth. So if I apply that particular formula, this is how it's going to expand. Next up, I am going to simplify this further more. So I can write n over n as 1. So this term is going to just simplify as minus lambda. I will separate 1 over 2 factorial here. So this is also going to become n times n minus 1 divided by n square and then lambda square. A minus becomes plus because of the square. Similarly, I can write this down as 1 over 3 factorial and n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over n cube from here and minus lambda whole cube will simplify as minus n lambda cube. Again, looking closely into these factors, we can simplify them furthermore. So this can be written down as n upon n which is 1 and n minus 1 upon n which is 1 minus 1 over n. Similarly, this can be written down as n over n, that's 1, 1 minus 1 over n, and 1 minus 2 over n. So each n gets divided by each of these individual factors. Um, after coming to this point, again recalling the fact that n is very, very large and it is approaching infinity, so 1 over n would be equal to 0. So I can write this as 0, this as 0, and this as 0. So in the next step, they can be quickly simplified as 1 as it is, minus lambda is copied as it is, and this term will become lambda squared over 2 factorial. And this term will become lambda cube over 3 factorial with a minus sign, and so on and so forth. At this point of time, I will recall the Maclaurin series of exponential and I will be able to identify that e power x is 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial plus x cube over 3 factorial and so on and so forth. So if I compare this expansion with this series that I'm getting, I would be able to identify that x in this case is equal to minus lambda. So that means this entire x series can be replaced as e power negative lambda. 
doing a bit of a rearrangement and I will be able to identify that this is e power negative lambda lambda to the power r over r factorial. So this is the formula for the probability of a Poisson distribution. So if you know that a random variable x follows a Poisson distribution with mean lambda, you can directly calculate probability as probability of r as e power negative lambda lambda to the power r over r factorial. So guys, if this was helpful, I would really appreciate if you would give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.